Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to create just a basic table um, and in another tutorial we're going to learn how to texture it. Something simple, this really isn't like about like fine details but I'm going to show you a little bit how it's done and then you can kind of do more on it with it on your own. And so to right now we're just going to focus on the modeling. So this video is just on the modeling concepts of building this table and how I created it. So go ahead and go into Blender and uh, go into Blender and get rid of the the intro screen. And now I'm going to turn on this so that you can see what I am doing. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get going. So we have this basic cube to begin with. Um, guess what we're going to do is we're going to use that and begin by making the top of the table, the table top. So make it really skinny. Uh, you can even go into the front view if you need to and um, if you hit S and you use the middle mouse button you can link it to an axis and so I've got that linked down and I want it to be about that tall ish, somewhere like that. I'm going to go to the top view by hitting the number 7 and um, I just know that's pretty big make that a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna go back in here. And I'm gonna make this a little bit taller, probably twice as this way as this way. So you can kinda use these boxes in the background to, to do that. I'm also gonna hit five because I'm changing my viewing mode from perspective into orthographic, which is just pretty much um, 3D into like 2D pretty much. So we only see these two Whereas if we're in perspective mode, we get a little glimpse of the three-dimensional look. Almost as if you were like a camera compared to just a front view. Blueprints compared to a camera. Um, so now, um, I think we're like, that's the beginning of this. We're, we'll finish a little bit more later, but let's go ahead and go into top view and hit shift A, add mesh, and we're going to add another cube. And so for now, we're going to design this edge piece here that goes around the edge there. And so let's just, I'm going to hit the S button and then link it to the axis and make it really skinny. Doesn't necessarily matter to how skinny. And then go into tab. And for, you have to make sure that you're in edit mode or else what we're about to do won't work the right way. So we're going to move it all over here. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Just position it a little bit over here. And I'm going to go to the modifier tab, which looks like a wrench. And hit add modifier, add um, a mirror modifier. And we can take a look. You can see that mod uh, mirrored over there across this axis, which is why that needed to be there. And then we're also going to hit the Y axis, which mirrors on this side. And we're going to hit clipping. Clipping, what it does simple demonstration without clipping you can cross over this axis with clipping you can't cross over and afterwards it's stuck um, something else that we want to do that I forgot so you can undo but make sure that you're either in this mode in, by hitting Z which is the wireframe mode or you can click on this button right here which allows you to select points behind the C before I could only select these two I want to select those as well so now I'll select them and I got both of them and now connect it they're clipped together they can't move um, they can't separate from each other now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this almost to the end here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see this and see this right here the point from the edge of the table to this wooden barrier. I'm going to try and create this same width here over here and make another one of these. I think the easiest way to do this is just hit E, extrude, rotate it by, rotate it by 90 degrees. You can, you can just do that by hitting R and then 90 on your keypad. And then you can move this about the same from here to here to here to here. And you can zoom in if you need to. Uh, I think that's pretty good. And then she E, extrude it, and it'll clip over there as well. And I think we're looking pretty, 
pretty solid. I think I might have actually made it a little bit. And if you want to adjust it, you can actually select everything and move it all at once after you're done and just make it as close to good as you can. Now, if you move around your view, you can see that it's too tall. It needs to be pretty small, like, like this. And so, what we need to do is scale it down. So go into the front mode by hitting 1, and then just uh, link it to the axis, scale it down, and then hit G to move it, and voila, I think we're looking golden. Uh, I think our tabletop might be a little bit thick. <laughs> okay, I think that's about what it should look like. Now we're going to create the legs of our table. So I'm going to go into top mode. I'm going to hit Shift A Add Mesh Cube once again. And we're going to do something very similar like what we just barely did. So we are going to hit Tab for edit mode and just start placing it. And we can hit Z for wireframe. And let's see how we can get this in here. So, you are going to want it to be the same distance from here to here. You want to make sure it's symmetrical, is I guess the best word. I think that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to move it down. I'm going to select these. Move it down here. And now, also, if you can tell, in this, you can, in on a leg it kind of gets a little bit more narrow at the bottom and so we're going to kind of create that and we can just get E extrude and just move it down and hit S and make it smaller and we have a basic leg nothing too fancy right now we're gonna add a little bit more but hit add modifier and create another mirror and do that as well and Boom. Now we have all four legs on a basic table. Now we are going to create uh, the little formation on the end of the table. This or on the right here. So let's do so by zooming in a little bit and hit one. Going back into ed mo edit mode. And I think I'm going to move this up. You can do so by just hitting G. And then middle mouse button, move it up a little bit. And the easiest way to do this is hit Control R. And what this does is it's called a loop cut and slide. And it's actually over here, you can see. But this is the shortcut for it. And it'll turn a little line purple. You click on it, and you can move it anywhere out there without actually modifying your object. But it allows you to edit it a little bit later on. And so, what we're going to do is move this back down. We're going to create this loop cut up here on top. And I guess to explain a little bit more of what's going on, if we look at this, we can see that there is going to be points here. There's going to be another points here, 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 and here. So every time that a face moves or points move, there is going to we have to create that. And so there's approximately like six, unless you want to add more details, and you can add more. So we just need to make sure that we add six details, and we'll we'll not include this one. So one, two, three, and if you want to readjust the lines, you just hit GG. So twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. You select them, hit GG, and I'll move. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to select this one and this one. And we're going to make them just a s little bit smaller. Not much, though, at all. And make these ones just a little bit bigger. That, not much. We're going to select them all. And we're just going to make them a little bit skinnier. And we have that 
basic edge. If you want to, you can make it a little bit more drastic, just depending on your taste of what you want in a table. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. So now we're going to get out of there and begin um, something else on the top here. We are going to create a bevel. So no modifiers, my bad. Not yet. I'm going to go into tab and we're going to do another um, mod uh, not modifier, but another shortcut. And this is for the bevel. And so it's control B. And you can see it kind of acts really funky. But if you can see over here, if you control B, it adds an edge, right? Well, right, it will happen right here. But what we want to do is when we hit it, we are going to scroll up a little bit, and it adds more points, more definition. But it will slow down your machine a little bit. So you don't want to get too crazy. You just want to keep it to a minimum somewhere in maybe two or three because what we're about to do is going to make it a little bit better too. And then you don't want it to be too big of a bevel. You can make it really big and make it round, but that's not what we're shooting for. We're shooting for a small bevel. And then we're going to go edit, edit mode, hit uh, smooth, and you can see it kind of looks dorky now. But you're also going to hit subdivision surface now. And I'm going to increase mine to two just to give it a nice edge there. You can see it looks pretty nice. And that is the basic modeling tutorial um, for today that we're going to go over. You can see that uh, we didn't do this little line here, but it's not ne really necessary. Um, after I made this, I decided I almost didn't really like it. Uh, you can easily make it by doing the loop cut like we did here and extrude it in. And that's, I guess, the basics of how we did that. It's just not ne needed and we're running a little bit out of time so thank you so much if you want to learn more about the texturing of this table then please click on the link that is going to be located down here thank you so much and see you next time